Hello lovely people, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're playing A Child Is Born by Thad Jones from 101 Christmas Songs uh, from Hal Leonard. Shall we go straight in and play it together? One, two, three. gorgeous melody. I hope you like it. I assume you like it otherwise you wouldn't have picked this video. Now you may have noticed if you've been super observant today that I have played various different fingerings and I would like you if you like to get a little bit better at violin playing as well as enjoying playing this song experiment with your fingerings a little bit because this song is open to many different ways of playing. Of course when I played it the first time round, I played everything in the first position. But you may have noticed the second time when we were repeating it, um, I was doing a little bit more in the second position. And you might even try playing this in sections in the fourth position. And what we'll do next is we'll play this song and we're going to keep stopping and starting a little bit. And I'll give you suggestions. So do please feel free to play along with me and just consider some different options here okay so let's play it again from the beginning uh, but be aware that we keep stopping and starting a little bit here we go after three one two three okay now you might play this in the first position you might try it in the second position so this time i'm starting with my first finger on the f sharp playing in the second position is that I avoid playing the open 
A string. This whole song has got a very warm melody in my mind, so I'm going to try and not play as many open strings to support that idea of warmth in sound. So let's play it again and, and if you try, if you want to, please try it in the second position with me. Three. advantage of playing this in the second position is that I don't need to go to the E string either and that adds to my warmth of sound. If I can stay on the A string for that F sharp that is a good idea isn't it? Now I've now played it with the fourth finger that F sharp at the start of line two. Of course many people might now say oh no I don't want to play vibrato on my fourth finger and that's that is a valid point so you might even go position afterwards. So that is one option. Second position and then go to the third position on F sharp and on E and then back to the second position. I'll play it for you from F sharp from the second line. So three, two on E, first finger on F sharp. back on track again as you've started. Some of you might say, and rightly so, oh but is there no way, if I play it in the second position, is there no way I can avoid playing that D on the A string? Yes there is, and you might even go second position, this is the beginning again, use the harmonic, to first finger on F sharp but then when we come to the end of line one you might go F sharp to G that's where your semitone is one one you see so this way is a very elegant way to go to the third position to reach that third finger and luckily for us you can choose whatever you like all of these options are correct ones and it's just a matter of musical preference, musical taste, stylistic taste if you like, um, which fingering you choose. Now some of us might be limited by our technical ability on the violin to choose a certain position and that's perfectly okay. So you can play all of this in the first position if that's what you've learned and you'll have lots of fun playing it. Uh, but if you're a little bit further advanced already, you might try some different fingerings and then decide, listen very carefully and then decide which sound you like the best of because after all our technique on the violin should serve always our musical purpose so if you like the sound of one way of playing it one way better than another go for that way so let's play it one more time from the beginning and I want you to interpret it in your own style right now and let's play the first two lines and then we come to think about that G sharp. One, two, three.
isn't really an elegant way um, to play that very nicely. In a way, I would like to go, when we hit this G sharp here, we haven't got the semitone between F sharp. So that is one way you go a whole tone up with your first finger. So this is the last note of line two. I've ended it in the second position, F sharp. And then I might do the same thing, but now up a whole tone. That brings me to the third position, so this becomes a three. So that is one way you can do it. Or you might think, okay, I would like to play this in the first position. So uh, at the end of line two, you would have been on a, two, on a first finger, wouldn't you? But after the harmonic, you might play it on a two instead. So if you like that, go ahead and play it like that. It's a lovely way because it makes the F sharp your highest note in a sort of, it gives it a brighter sound. If you like that, go ahead and play it like that. Other people might say, oh no, I want to stay in the second position. So that way you can also do it. That would certainly help this bit if you stayed in the second position, you see. Um, someone else might say, oh no, the disadvantage of staying in the second position would be that you get the long F sharp in the fourth finger here. Yes, that's a valid point. Yeah, you could, you could also argue <laughs> against it, just the complete opposite and say, oh, I, I'm not very good at my fourth finger vibrato, so th here I create an opportunity to practice it. So you choose which option you take. I'm going from the end of line two. First finger here in the second position. So that's an alternative again. And now I want to go A. See, I tuck this G in. And this is my preferred fingering. second position that's fine other people might say I prefer the third position here there's another question for you to answer sorry I'm, I'm placing all these questions in front of you and what I mean to do is is to give you different options and I want you to first and foremost listen to what which option you like the sound of the best and from there decide on your fingering. Other people might say, oh no, I'm just going to play open A. <laughs> My question then is what are you going to do with this A string here, with this open A at the end of the fourth line? Um, there are many different Things. If you are currently learning the fourth position, why not go? Wow, that would be impressive, wouldn't it? Uh, so what I'm saying is, listen to the sound and then decide your fingering from there. Now, if uh, this was a regular lesson and this was an intermediate student, I would say, why not try the third position here? I'm going from the fourth line and there uh, I'm playing in the second position. And here I have that on harmonic again. And now I'm going to two. Now we can get 
get back on track again. once more and now this time I'm going to play my preferred fingering and I would like you to go on ahead and play your preferred fingering so it might be slightly different here back to the beginning this is our repeat and then when we get to the end we'll go into the second time bar one two three I'd like to do that uh, because Christmas songs because we all know them so well is a unique opportunity to practice your position so you might one day even say okay I'm going to play all of this in the fifth position or all of this in the second or all of this in the fourth position um, and that way you get better very very quickly so if you've enjoyed this video uh, please like it and hit the bell button and share it with your friends if you like also, please do write about your experiences. Which position are you playing this in, for instance, in the comment section below. It's lovely for me to find out what people are thinking. I very much look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.